You never gave up on yourself. And now, they're in regret. They tried. They threw everything they had at you. While you were asleep, they tried to steal your dreams. When you're awake, they tried to get you stuck. Bad relationships, bad jobs. They did everything they could. They spent their life thinking about you. Trying to figure out what your weak spots were so they could poke them and get you to lay down. But you didn't. You never gave up on yourself. You blew their minds because they gave up on themselves a long time ago. Anyone who thinks that way has long since given up on themselves because they've given up on their soul. And what they hated about you was that you wouldn't join them. You refused to settle because you felt the call of something higher. And you thought, what's the point of living without a soul? You don't want to be that guy in the Matrix who told them to put him asleep so he could have the illusion of a state that felt real. You want to be Neo, the one who took a chance, jumped off buildings, made mistakes until he could stop bullets with his bare hands. And the price of admission to that life was never giving up on yourself, your true self. You weren't willing to settle for a fake self. I told you to. They did everything they could to get you to. But you refused. You passed. He didn't embrace another false self to fight them with because you're mad or a victim self to whine about it, thereby effectively letting them win. You chose door number three, which was a mystery. I called you a fool, but here you are. You won. You refused to give up on yourself. And now you're forcing them to recognize that the self they thought they were was an illusion of power based on a cowardly desire to hide from pain that they were so fearful of. They wouldn't even admit it was there. They wanted to project it onto you. But you refuse to take that projection because your true self is no pain limitation. You never gave up on yourself. And now their karma weighing heavy on their souls. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you start getting calls, them telling you how sorry they are for everything they did. Because you hold the keys now to their redemption and their salvation, or so they think. You see, what they don't know is that they gave you their power by trying to take you down. But you don't hold the keys to their self-forgiveness. Their salvation lies in their inner divinity, in their relationship to the God they decided didn't exist. And now they got to figure that out for themselves. And you, it's your time to start thinking about what would be the greatest way to celebrate your victory. What would be the future that would light you up, the future you've earned? by refusing to give up on yourself. Who do you want to spend that time with? How do you want to spend those blessings? Get excited. Step into the timeline of victory now because it is already accomplished in eternity. And eternity lives now within you, in that true self you refuse to give up on. So let's step onto that timeline of victory together. Let's not worry about them and their burdens. And when they come to try to apologize, express remorse, recognize they're not sorry because they recognize your true self, your true value. And now they want you in their life. They, they're sorry because they got caught. They're sorry because they underestimated you. They're sorry because they lost. And the mind that thinks that way still has given up on itself. That mind still thinks it's the ridiculous, fictitious, bloated, clout-chasing, power-hungry, narcissistic ego that tried to bring you down in the first place. You do them no favors by validating that ridiculous concoction, taking those alligator tears for true remorse and conscience. The most loving thing you can do right now is pretend they don't exist because the truth is, the them they think they are does not exist. It's an NBC, the Matrix program that took over a once innocent soul with tons of possibilities. It took them over by their choice. And so the only way out for them will be to choose again. And that's going to take some suffering. It's going to take them eating their karma the same way that you
had to eat and put up with all of the needless, hostile distractions and sneaky subterfuge that they tried to poison you with along the way. So thank them for helping you remember, claim your victory, and show your thanks by completely dismissing as a phantom the illusory, ego-driven, narcissistic them who now wants to beg your forgiveness. Forgiveness starts within. It starts with us forgiving ourselves for having fallen into the fit of self-betrayal when we fell for their illusion. And when we do that, we reestablish boundaries of true honor, strength, and self-love. And from there, we create a field. We reclaim our divine rights to be treated this way. And we fill ourselves up. And we give from our overflow when we feel moved and never otherwise. We simply enjoy being alive dancing with reality and we recognize the world then dying to lift us to our proper station it's been waiting for us to be ready to receive the most unbelievable grandeur and blessings been bestowed upon us and we're ready to receive now because we refused come hell or high water come death we refuse to ever give up on ourselves our true self and our true selves are joined in communion and a beauty that cannot be tarnished by the ravages of matrix agents and all the bullshit they use to try to confuse us so thank you old world for teaching us what we needed to know to create the new one and let us together ask in the vision of what could be and what already is now deep in our hearts when we have the courage to claim what's ours and refuse to settle for anything less than that which lights us up with the big yes which knows no knows whatsoever congratulations i'm looking forward to co-creating with you